Today we're going to talk about pill in a pocket. What does pill in a pocket mean? It's a technique that you use to deal with uh, a rapid ventricular rate for atrial fibrillation. First of all, let's go back and uh, review just what atrial fibrillation is. But before that, just a quick introduction. Dr. Ford Brewer, F-O-R-D, B is in boy, R-E-W-E-R. -E um, PrevMed, heart attack, stroke, cancer, dementia, disability prevention. Now these are two pictures of, of hearts. This heart is beating normally and it's conducting normally. Um, no, excuse me. Uh, this heart is conducting normally. It starts up in the, the, um, the conduction starts up in the atri sinoatrial node. It goes throughout the atria or uh, to coordinate that beat. The atria beat first, they squeeze first, and what they do from a functional perspective is they increase the uh, volume. They push the blood into the ventricles. So atria add about 10 to 20% um, of the performance of the ventricles by preloading or filling them. As the, this is the conduction mechanism to coordinate this, um, this beat. Again, the sinoatrial node goes through the um, atria, then it goes through one area here called the AV node and then coordinates down through the ventricles. If you look at an EKG, that's exactly what we see. The P wave is the uh, con conduction as it starts at the sinoatrial node, goes through the atria. There's some delay with the um, AV node, atrioventricular node, and then it goes through the ventricles. That P wave right there, that small bump, is the uh, wave going through the atria. Uh, then, when it, this is the this large one, is the QRS. That's the um, conduction going through the ventricles. And then <clears throat> that T wave is where they de the muscle depolarizes in the ventricles. So, if you look down at the at atrial fibrillation, what, one of the things you see is you really can't find, it maybe looks like a P wave here, but when you start looking around, you're not finding a regular P wave at a regular distance in front of the QRS uh, complex. Another thing that you find is that you don't have a regular rate. So um, the rates go from 300, 150, 100, um, 75, and so this rate's what, about 60? If you look at this rate, uh, that one was about, what, 140? The difference here is about, what, one, one, okay, it looks like about 140 on this one, 300, 150, about 100 between that one, 300, 150. About a hundred here. Actually, it looks like this person's getting a fairly standard uh, response of about a hundred. You have to average these out because, again, it's not a uh, a regular beat like you get up here. That's one of the um, uh, we call it sine qua non. It's a it's a um, a Latin term. The thing which uh, distinguishes atrial fib. Uh, the pulse of atrial fib in a patient is, it's what we call irregularly irregular. You can't really predict when it's going to happen. Um, <clears throat> now, <clears throat> this heart is doing something different. These atria are going around, the uh, conduction is going around in circles. It's a chaotic beat, and that's atrial fibrillation. So that's why you're not seeing a P wave here. You still get a QRS wave. Now, why? Because uh, there is a traffic cop. A, um, all of the conduction going to the ventricles goes through what's this node right here called the AV node. 
the AV node controls what's called the resp ventricular response to atrial fib. Now sometimes this AV node lets 150 in, uh, <clears throat> sometimes more. Um, but if a patient has atrial fib and they have a ventricular response rate of 150, that means 150 times uh, per minute this chaotic response is getting through and causing 150 times per minute for the ventricles to contract. That's too rapid a rate. Um, I have atrial fib. I've, uh, I often get when I'm having, uh, it's a paroxysmal, meaning I don't have this uh, atrial fib all the time. Most of the time I have this, and then I have these episodes. But uh, these episodes can last uh, 8, 10, 12 hours. Um, and in my, uh, in my case, quite often the rate is getting up to about 150, the ventricular response rate. The number of um, beats that the, um, that the AV node is letting in through uh, uh, from uh, atrial conduction. So what we do is we do a thing called pill in a pocket. It's uh, carvedilol. Um, carvedilol is a, a beta blocker. It's a beta blocker that shows decreased uh, um, insulin impact on insulin response. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> I focused on that because I have insulin resistance. That was the uh, beta blocker I selected for myself, but, um, and requested, I, I did see a cardiologist for this. Um, <clears throat> but here's the thing, pill in a pocket is a, um, a way to manage and decrease that, uh, what we call ventricular response rate for atrial fib. I'll be talking about that a little bit later in other videos, but this is a, uh, an explanation for uh, pill in a pocket.